The story of zero coin, zero cash, and then becoming Zcash is kind of interesting. It started in 2011 when I realized Bitcoin is a thing that's around, but if it, for it to take off, it has to solve this privacy problem. We can't have Twitter for your bank account. Starting as before, I wasn't even a PhD student at the time. I don't really know what's been done. Start looking, find out that we've had 20 years of trying to build what's called eCash. This was in the literature. This is work by David Chom and others. But all those assumed that there was a central bank that held a single key that would sign money. And the problem with that is if that bank is malicious or hacked. They can sign as much money as they want and basically print money. And you ended up with something like Zimbabwe or the Weimar Republic in Germany where you get runaway inflation and the money's worth nothing. So those are never done. And in fact, you can't do this in Bitcoin because there's no central party to hold that key. Bitcoin's a peer-to-peer -peer network where nobody trusts anybody. And so you can't trust anyone to hold the key. How do you build a system to provide privacy when the entire previous approach we had required secret keys that we can't use? So we had to come up with a totally different approach. And that's where these techniques from zero knowledge proofs come in. 